Well, as you begin your journey into penetration testing and vulnerability analysis, at the outset, you want to understand the difference between active reconnaissance and passive reconnaissance. Wired packet sniffers and wireless packet sniffers allow analyzers and network engineers to passively capture data packets so they can be examined for benign reasons. In other words, the reconnaissance is done for the purpose of network optimization or troubleshooting or auditing or analysis. But these tools are also being used by crackers to intercept data packets. Passive reconnaissance involves using packet sniffers, passive scanners, or taps to gather copies of frames and packets to observe the contents. It can also involve capturing phone and voice over IP packets in the form of wiretapping. Passive reconnaissance is typically used in the early phases of the structured attack when it's critical for the attacker not to be detected or caught. An example would be data mining social networks like Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. In a passive attack, attackers can still steal confidential information. However, they leave no fingerprint or trace of activity in the form of artifacts. There's no direct threat to availability or integrity. Active information gathering or active reconnaissance typically involves an action on a target endpoint or a network that could be traced back to the attacker. Examples would be like running a web application scan, for example using OWASP Zap, port scanning and address scanning, vulnerability scanning tools, grabbing banners from FTP servers and web servers, or active system fingerprinting to determine the operating system, the version, the applications that are running and the versions, and for example the service pack levels. In this video, you learn the difference between active reconnaissance and passive reconnaissance.